us to begin to look at the greatest he has done, irrespective of the lowest that levels we found ourselves. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is now a testimony time because this is a thanksgiving and it is an eternal thanksgiving. And so we are thanking God as a family amongst Amen. ourselves and within ourselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so if you if you have a testimony and you want it, you want us to hear it so that I will be encouraged and go
will say, God has not done a lot for me. That means I'm ungrateful. Um, I thank God for his faithfulness, for his mercies, for all these years. Um, uh, this month, on um, the 20th, uh, me and my wife, we became uh, one year, uh, sorry, nine years in a marriage. Amen. God has been faithful in all these years. His provisions, his kindness, and his love. Amen. We give glory to his name. Amen. Let us just sing a song to glorify the name of God. So we have no and it will be in my dialect. And the 
the topic I am going to speak on briefly is the grateful heart. What did I say? The grateful heart. And our text shall be taken from Psalm 107, verse 1 to verse 9. And there are other verses also that we are going to touch at Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Amen. We have a testimony in the house. We have a redeemed in the house Amen. that the Lord has redeemed yeah. from the hands of the enemy. Amen. Then you are a candidate of thanksgiving. Amen. Let the ungathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south, they wandered in wilderness. In the desolate way, they found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, they are so fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and, and he delivered them out of their distresses. Let he, and he led them forth by the right hand, that they might go to a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that man will, will give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men, for he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with goodness. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are talking about the grateful heart. Hallelujah. And first of all, I want to also understand, I have a clear understanding of what it means for a heart to be grateful. And so a grateful heart actually is the heart that deeply shows appreciation for something around him, for something around her. That heart that is not preoccupied with what it doesn't have. But it's preoccupied with what it has, what God has graciously made available unto him. That heart is a grateful heart. A grateful heart looks for the positive things that has positive that have happened in his life. I'm not concentrating on the negative situations. A grateful heart is always excited, always thrilled for the favor or benefits that is received from the Lord. As David will say in Psalm 103, say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So a grateful heart uh, looks out for the benefits that he has received or she has received from the Lord. No matter how small or big, a grateful heart finds a place in to appreciate God in his heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the grateful heart takes time to reflect on how gracious God has been with him. An ungrateful heart always concentrates on the have nots. And when you concentrate on the have nots, you it blinds you to the halves of the Lord in your heart. When you concentrate on the have nots, you discover that you will not be able to count your blessings. But the grateful heart actually considers the minutest of blessings or benefits that the Lord has bestowed upon him or her. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 
Hallelujah. And so, if you are look, a grateful heart, one will say, how can you identify all the characteristics of a, a grateful heart? First of all, a grateful heart is always joyful. And what is the source of his or her joy? The source is simply is looking at the things that God has, has done for him. Yet it might not be great, but as far as that very heart is concerned, is contented. Praise the name of God. So a grateful heart is always a joyful. Do we have a joyful heart in the house? Amen. If you are one, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A grateful heart always celebrates every benefit of God, like I've always said. Celebrates every benefit of God. Do you know one thing? That any heart that cannot appreciate God for what is happening now can never appreciate God for what is going to have tomorrow. Any heart. Oh, God has blessed you with a baby and some will prefer either he or she. And you are still saying, God, if you, if you bless me with the other one you prefer, I will thank you. I guarantee you by the time that one comes, you see that, that there are other things that your heart is, pro, is strong, I mean, uh, it, it is, it's looking for. And that thing will, will actually overshadow or blind your heart that uh, the task giving will be, will be overshadowed. And so, a grateful heart starts thanking God, expressing appreciation and gratitude from what already that is around him or her. If you cannot thank God enough for what he has given you today, for what he has given you to this year, and you are waiting for next year to thank him, number one, I want you to know that next year you will never thank him enough. But by the time you begin to thank him for this very year, like as some testifiers said, that this year God has been so marvelous, so gracious, yet it has been a year filled with storms. That's a good place to start with that one. Though it was a stormy year, but you have seen a reason, even in the midst of the storm, to do what? To thank God. That heart is a grateful heart. And every grateful heart, God loves. And not only loves, God blesses. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so from the from this, what I have said today, concerning a grateful heart, how can you categorize your, your heart? Where can you place yourself? Are you seeing yourself as a grateful, somebody with a grateful heart? That is each individual to know answer. Can you truly say that you are a grateful individual? And sometimes I find myself caught in this very world. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But we thank God that He has always given us opportunity at every point in time to see reasons to say thank you Lord. Praise the Lord. David made a declaration in Psalm 34 and verse 1. He said, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be Situation 
does not does not deny him or does not stop him or restrict him from praising God. In every situation he finds he, says he finds reason to bless him. Who is that very king that was a, a wonder among them, David? No one. He was jumping from cave to mountain, being hunted here and there. Yet, in, even in the mountain, even in the cave, he found reason to bless the name of God. Even when he is afraid, he finds reason to do what? To bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. From the Bible reading that we have had today, if you read Psalm 107 from beginning to the end, you will discover that on four occasions, the psalmist called that men should rise up and do what? Praise the Lord. I want us to go to them. Psalm 107 verse 8. I want King James Bachelor, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 8, yes. 107 verse 8 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord uh -huh. for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 15. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 15 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 21. Verse 21 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Verse 31. Verse 31 says, Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, that men should praise the Lord. Oh, that men should praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful children of men to the children of men for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men to the children of men for he has broken the gates of brass and caught the bars of fire asunder praise the Lord oh grateful heart to God for his goodness and for his wonderful works. And if you go through this very song, you will discover that for every invitation that man should praise the Lord, there is a testimony that commands that very invitation. Praise the name of the Lord. First of all, what we discover here, the reason why the psalmist is enjoying and uh, calling on men to praise the Lord is because of his redemption, as we see in verse 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say what? Say, I'm redeemed. Say, I'm redeemed. And when you are redeemed, what did you say? You praise the Lord for your redemption. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two, why we the psalmist called on us that we should praise the Lord is because he satisfies our longings. Hallelujah. And he delivers us from the prison and chains and darkness. Yes, somebody may ask me that I'm not in prison. What prison or the other? Beloved, I want to assure you that uh, <laughs> hallelujah, that uh, many of us are in one form of prison or the other. Bound by one chain or the other, laboring under the works of darkness. But when the Lord arose on our behalf and he broke the chain as we sang in the song, then there is a reason for us to have a grateful heart. Hallelujah. Amen. We had the testimony of our sister earlier on. There was a young man I was opportunity to meet, I think, two, two months ago. He was terribly aggressive. 
As a matter of fact, somebody that was helping him, that put him in the house, you know, he was actually trying to find the person. So when I asked, then I was told that he has been in prison for a long time. And he just came out and somebody offered him a hand. And he did not see any reason to thank God that he came out and he is not homeless. That somebody put him in the house. But he was picking, finding faults from one corner to the other. I called him. I spoke to him. He looked at me. He said, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. So she gave a testimony, but many of us will not understand. Until you've been there and you come out, that is when you will treasure what freedom is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We were all bound to the prison in the prison of Satan. But Jesus came and did what? Set us free. Free from the from the prison of sin. Free from the prison of iniquity. Free from the prison of corruption of, of the mind. And so we have a reason to say thank you. Amen. Number three. A call or a thank you for deliverance from sickness and from our foolish ways. As we can see in verse 16. And you might ask me, I have not been a fool. Who told you? <laughs> Who told you? We have in one way or the other been fools or taken foolish words, actions and decisions and made some foolish choices. But it took to me that God sent forth his word. His word delivered us. Hallelujah. And that's the reason for us to have a grateful heart. Praise the Lord. The fourth reason as we can see in verse 22 and verse 27 is deliverance from deliverance for travelers. How many traveled this year? How many traveled this year? Only two people raised their hands. Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay. 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 I wonder to start with you. <laughs> what is what is traveling? Is it from the time you move from Lagos to Sokoto or from Athens to London? Once you leave your house and go to the next platea, you are making a movement from one location or the other and something can happen. Pray the Lord. Yes, my dear. And so when you have this very understanding, you know, if you read scripture, it was talking about the sellers because the sellers, the, the they encounter terrible storms in the sea. And so whenever they, they, their journey ended safely, they had reason to do what? Thank God. But we have been through the sea of life. Bash left and right by the storms of 2023. Yet we are here. Is that not a reason? Good reason enough to have a, a grateful heart of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And the fifth reason is we thank God or we develop a grateful heart for divine providences, protection, provision, and the rest of them. Everybody that testifies say, I thank God for my family, for his mercy, for his protection, for his provision, and that is divine word. Providence, and that is a good reason for us to have a grateful heart towards the Lord of hosts. Beloved, 2023 has been an eventful year, full of events. Some of them are very, very good events. Yes, some of them have not been good events. But in the midst of all this, let us find reasons to thank him and have a grateful heart, an appreciative heart, a heart that expresses joy unto the most high God. Praise the name of the Lord. It has been a year of answered prayers. If God has answered your prayers and this year, raise your hand. So you are a candidate of thanksgiving. Everybody now has fallen into place. You see it now. That we have numerous reasons to thank this very God. 
This year also has been a year of laughter. And not only laughter, it has been a, also a year of tears. We laughed, we cried. A year of grace tongue and tempest. Yet, we are here. It is because of his mercies that we are not consumed. And so, for his mercy, we're supposed to have a grateful heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God has been so merciful. God has been so good. God has been so gracious. God has been so faithful to us. Hallelujah. He has been so kind and he has always shown himself powerful in our situation and in our circumstances. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's the reason why the Lord, we have gathered here as a family today to say, say, Father, we are grateful. To say, Father, we are grateful. You so maybe up to now you don't also find any reason to thank God. I want you to open to Habakkuk chapter 3 and read verse 17, 18, and 19. Habakkuk chapter 3. Then that, that you will see that uh, for every situation you find yourself, there is always a reason to thank God. Hallelujah. Do you know that uh, even in the worst of a situation, if you look deeply into it, you will find a reason to thank God. Is it not true? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, please read quickly. How about Ocean 3, verse 17 to verse 19? Hello. Huh. Yes, sir. Although the fig tree shall not grow down, mm -hmm. neither shall grow day in the vine. Mm -hmm. the For what? Evil. In order to bring you down. 
But when you begin to praise God for it, uh, strength comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, don't forget that we say that uh, a grateful heart is always a joyful heart. Is it not? For the joy of the Lord giveth strength. Praise the name of the Lord. So, beloved, because time has is on our behalf, all we are saying that children of God let us as we have come to do what? Sing. We've come to dance. We've come to be joyful before the Lord our Maker. The psalmist in Psalm 95 we say, Oh come. Help me now. Don't we have a Bible so that? No. Uh -huh, yes. Let us make a joyful Come, let us uh, sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise unto the rock of, the rock of our salvation. Uh -huh. Go on. Let us come before his presence. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King and more above all gods. In His hands, yes. At the deep places of the earth, the strength of the hills are His also. The sea is His. And He made them and His hands prepared. Praise the name of the Lord. So that is the invitation we are receiving today that you come and worship Him. If we don't have any reason to worship him, we we'll worship him because he's a great God. Amen. Worship him because he is a great king above all gods. Worship him because in his hands are the deep things. It does not matter what the secret the enemy has a hidden your life in. But the Bible said that secret things belong to God. But to him, he has to reveal it this very year. In his hands are this at this at the depths. He is he can also reveal the hidden things. That which is in the depth, he can bring it out. Joseph was thrown into the pit without water, but it was what the mercy of God that brought him out of that very deep. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so be Lord. You know, in First Chronicles, it gives us the reason why we must worship God. First Chronicles 16, verse 34. I want us to read at 4 and 35, and there we draw the curtain. First Chronicles chapter 16, 34 and 35. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 16, verse yes, 34, 35. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. So, say He save us, O God of our salvation, and gather us together and deliver us from the hidden, that we may give thanks to Thy to Thy holy name and glory in Thy praise. Praise God. Hallelujah. As we thank Him in. As 2023 closes, then we are declaring the prayer of our that he should gather us, that he should save us, that we may give him greater glory in 2024. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the living prayer, the Lord. Let the living. Oh, let the living praise the Lord. Let the living praise the Lord. Brother, let the living praise the Lord. Let the
our lives. You are awesome in our lives, mighty God. You are awesome in our lives, Abba Father, Abba Father. You are worthy. of our heart is expressed in these two songs. Truly, O oh God, we, have, we are grateful for all you have done in our lives individually as a household of faith. Truly, you have been awesome in this very place. In your church, Lord, you be awesome in our lives. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the adoration. It remains barely, O oh Lord, seven days plus for this very year to close. Lord, we decree and declare that we will not close with this year. We will not close with this year. Not so here we close with this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we shall all enter into 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every last minute I will prepare for the enemy. By the word of the Lord. No soul here shall be a candidate. No so here is a candidate of last minute evil arrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, our soul will escape each and every one of them to the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, into this week, O oh God, we commit our lives into your hands that you will go ahead of us, O oh God. Pass over and us to cross over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the blood of separation. The blood of Jesus will separate us from every evil of the remaining days of this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no evil shall be reported concerning any of us. Evil report and bad news we cancel you by the blood of Jesus. No concerning us, no concern our loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the Lord as mountains surround Jerusalem, Lord, may you surround us, O oh God. May you surround our loved ones, O oh God, for the remaining days of this very month. In the name of Jesus Christ. This week long program is in your hands. Father, our heart desire is that you will take us deeper. A deeper journey with you. A deeper journey in you. In 2024. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We bless you, O oh Lord. And we give you praise. For it is well with our spirit. It is well with our soul. It is well with our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. We shall not die, but live Thank you.
lived to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. Amen.